Welcome back to Brildor, your English personalization channel. This video is the beginning of a series dedicated to screen printing. And the best way to get started is with transparency printing so you can prepare your screens by yourself. Interesting, isn't it? Well, don't go anywhere because we're about to give you some very interesting tips. As you know, at Brildor, we're currently betting on this traditional technique due to its great versatility, its price and that artistic part that we love. The first thing to do after selecting your design is print it on a transparency film. That design must be printed in black onto an acetate or polyester film to prevent light from passing through during the exposure. The dark part of the emulsion will then fall off after washing it and that area will be the one through which the ink can pass through. The three most common ways of printing transparencies for screen printing are with an image setter. Image setters are high quality and expensive machines. They can provide you with high definition prints, but they will be very expensive. With a laser printer. There are many types of film that you can print with a laser printer. On our website, you'll find matte and clear film, so you can choose the one that works best for you. There are two main problems that you may encounter. Low dimensional stability due to temperature. When passing through the hot fuser, this type of film tends to change in size, giving you registration problems if you're printing with several screens. Black will not be very opaque, and the result might lose definition. You can use products like blackening spray to increase its opacity. Your other option is inkjet printing. You will need a conventional inkjet printer to print on more porous transparencies. The main advantages are its printing cost and quality, which is not as good as an image setter, but enough to get high quality photo engravings. To print the transparencies, it's essential to get good opacity, which is the reason why we recommend using high quality inks. Do not try using low-quality compatible inks because your prints won't be of good quality. We recommend using EcoTank Epson printers because they can print directly on the film and some, like the ET1400, are compatible with screen printing software such as PrintFab. To get the most out of printing transparencies and have full control, we recommend using PrintFab a print driver with RIP functionalities that can also be used for color management in dye sublimation printing. This time, we'll need the Pro Excel version that includes screen printing features, which we're now going to explain in depth. We've used an ET1400 with all the ink tanks filled with black ink to gain opacity. Let's take a look at the setup and printing process to see the potential of PrintFab software with an EcoTank printer. With PrintFab Toolbox open, click Add and add your printer, which must be switched on and connected to your PC or Mac. Give it a name to distinguish it from another one that you might have. Now, open your favorite design software with a prepared image. We will use Photoshop. Add registration marks to position the screen or if you're going to print several colors. Our design only has one color. In future videos, we will also show you how to prepare a four color process and print it with PrintFab. Load the film with its rough side facing up. Click on print and choose the transparency printer. Go to print settings and under paper, select transparency and 1440 DPI quality. Now go to the options tab. You'll be able to select single black to use a printer loaded with CMYK inks. Multi black for a printer fully loaded with black inks, or the same options but pre half tone. You'll also be able to change ink saturation. We will set it to 220. Then you have options to change the lines per inch, the angle, and the shape of the screen. You can also enable and disable ink cartridges and change the drop size. Click OK and print. You will see a preview of the final result. If everything looks good, press print and exit. 
The printer will print your design and, as you can see, the intensity of the black ink is great. If we hold it up to the light, we can see that it has a great opacity. In this video, we've brought you closer to one of the first steps in screen printing, printing transparencies. We want to remind you that you can access a 30-day trial version of PrintFat Pro XL that you'll find on the product sheet, available in the description below. We hope we've helped you learn a bit more about screen printing. Don't hesitate to write down a comment below and click on the like button. If you don't want to miss out on any video, remember to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media to find out about all our offers and news. See you soon!